right, YouTube, I haven't posted a video in a long time, so I thought I would, uh, not to grill, so I thought I'd post a video on this new pan that I purchased. Um, this one's gonna be the uh, Blue Rhino non-stick grilling pan. It says specifically for seafood and vegetables. Um, I plan on cooking vegetables, potatoes, and such like that in it. But the reason why I picked it up and I thought it was cool and I'll show y'all is uh, it's got the detachable handle that comes with this wood um, inside of it. It's got this uh, stainless steel wire wrapped around it with this clasp on the end of it here. Um, it does give you a little caution. We'll get hot right there. Right there. But what I like about it is, is that you can use this to simply slip it over there bend back and now you've got your handle so whenever you get ready to maneuver this around in your grill you can simply attach it and move it around um, and then whenever you're done you can take it off so you don't burn your handle up just leaving just the pan itself so uh this is gonna be a non-stick surface on the front and the back here. Um, it's gonna be 12 inches around and uh, it's gonna come with a one year limited warranty from Blue Rhino. It's the same company that you know has the Blue Rhino uh, flat griddles, the Blue Rhino propane tanks, stuff like that, same company. Uh, this is not dishwasher safe, so um, don't put it in your dishwasher it says hand wash only um, which most of my grill stuff is hand wash only but give me a few minutes I'm gonna set it up uh, I'll start the video back when I'm grilling some vegetables and uh, be back in a minute. okay so it says it needs to uh, you need to put it in there and preheat it before you put any food in it it'll help clean off any of that uh, bacteria or anything contaminants that are on it anyway so I thought why not but uh, here's my handle. I just want to show you how easy it is to grab. So we're cooking on the uh, seven burner perma steel, uh, stainless steel grill right now. But uh, it's been sitting in there for a couple minutes. Uh, you can easily, it's, it's on high, so it's hot. You can easily grab it, do whatever you need to do with it. And then uh, put it right back in there. You can shuffle it around if you want. I'm just using that. Um, yeah, I like the detachable handle a lot. It saves you from having to grab a basket with an oven mitt or something like that. So I like that it comes with this detachable handle. I'll set it back up whenever uh, we get some vegetables on the ground. All right, YouTube, this is what I got. I got some uh, yellow squash, some uh, zucchini, and some Roma tomatoes chopped up, a little olive oil, a little seasoned salt. They're gonna go in. chicken and sausage on there, but the highlight of this video is this pan. Still non-stick, medium high heat. Roasting up real good. Not really roasting, but we're grilling up real good. About to pull that. Almost ready. Chicken's ready to come off, looking good. By the way, I switched between Sweet Baby Ray's and Stubbs, Stubbs out of Texas. Uh, two of the best barbecue sauces I've came across. If anybody ever has some uh, 
barbecue sauce they want to recommend me, let me know. I'm going to see how this works out. Handles on. See how, see how nice these vegetables come off this pan. See, I kind of cooked them a little long, but as you can see, that weren't really stuck. It was more of the tomatoes and stuff that were kind of stuck to it, but it overall did good. I'm going to wash it up and see what it looks like after it's been washed up. But uh, overall, I liked it. did good. Okay, so uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, the handle, of course, I would say like it held up, but it, it really doesn't get used that much. Um, this uh, area here that it hooks through is pop riveted. Okay, so um, I didn't. I noticed these uh, rivets didn't melt out or anything like that to where it render this um, useless. It is uh, stamped made in China. I didn't know that before. Um, none of the scratch surface was ruined during it. It didn't warp. It is still its original shape. Um, it is still round. The uh, the only thing I noticed is when I, were, I was scraping it against the grill, trying to stir it like a, a frying pan, I, I did get a little, little scratches there. I did it multiple times and that's all it ever really did. So I was kind of surprised, but all in all, you know, it worked great for $9.99 at Lowe's. Um, to grill with, I was happy. Uh, I recommend it. Go pick you up one.